us in Matthew chapter 16 verse 24 Jesus told his disciples if you want to follow me deny yourself take up your daily crosses and follow me Jesus told his disciples if you want to follow me deny yourself take up your daily crosses and follow me the person who was a little distracted and disturbed in life once wrote a letter to one of his class teachers who is also a priest. He had to make his letter a bit long since he had to release all his tensions and complaints about his life. He got the reply within two weeks. The reply letter follows this way. Sometimes the pains and struggles of life may be very painful. Something like shedding the blood. Still, please do choose Jesus. The struggles and pains are the prices that we pay for a better life in Christ. I am not so innocent to say that I do choose Jesus always. Still, I know very well that to be a follower of Jesus Christ means it is much more praiseworthy than we think of. Discipleship is all about denying yourself taking our daily crosses and following Jesus very closely. The passage of bearing of daily crosses and following Jesus has a very parallel and close relationship to St. John chapter 14 verse 24. Jesus told his disciples, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. The falling of the grain of wheat into the earth is for a noble cause. It is for the abundant cause of increase. It is for the noble cause of bearing the fruit. A grain of wheat falling into the earth and dying is equal as a human taking up the daily crosses and following Jesus very closely. Since I am not careful enough to let myself to fall into the earth and die, the best of myself is not at home. Because I am not committed enough to take up my daily crosses and follow Jesus very closely, I remain unproductive, not creative and fruitless. The reason for bearing the crosses, bearing the daily crosses in life remains unanswered from the very existence of mankind itself. The Deepak Chopra, the famous writer of the time, though explained faith as the covering up of the feeling of insecurities, most of the time faith in God alone helps us. So let us start believing that God has a reason for everything. God has a right for everything. All the more, God has a reward for everything. Suffering has always been a vehicle for deep spiritual growth for many human beings. Those who have met up with the greatest struggles of life are generally the one who evolve into greatest beings. Everything that occurs in life has been perfectly orchestrated to inspire our maximal evolution as a better human being and to bring us into the true power which lies within us. Everything that occurs in life has been perfectly orchestrated to inspire our maximal evolution as a better human being and to inspire and to bring us into the true power which resides within us. Ours is a time where most of us are suffering from a sickness called comfortable discipleship. So let us leave the safety zones and the comfort zones. Let us start living radically for Jesus. The little prices, the little pains, the little struggles are the prices that we pay for a better life in Christ. A better, a rooted, a solid life in Jesus Christ costs a lot. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, may we enjoy the joy of belonging to you and the happiness of choosing you always. May we be so committed to you so that we may take up our daily crosses and follow you very radically. Lord Jesus, may we enjoy the joy of belonging to you 
and the happiness of choosing you always. May we be so committed to you so that we take up our daily crosses and follow you very closely. Amen.